Number 10, the Honourable Trevor Mallard. Mr. Speaker, my question is to the Minister of Finance. Uh, what are the risks to the Crown in holding state-owned enterprise shares that he was referring to when he gave evidence to the Finance and Expenditure Committee in February 2011? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, Mr Speaker, I recall raising the issue of risks in the context where uh, there was a discussion about the uh, government bond rate and return on SOEs. When the, the Crown faces the same range of risks of any owner of any commercial company, uh, the, pr the need to change prices, that demand for their product could fluctuate, uh, that costs could change, such as the oil price changing at the moment, uh, they may be subject to changes in the exchange rate, that a competitor gets better technology and that um, the supply and demand of the products that they buy and the products that they sell could change. These are all risks of owning a commercial company. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. When he referred to, to the risk both then and today, uh, was he, does he regard the risk profile of the assets uh, as positive or negative? The Honourable Bill English. Well, Mr Speaker, it's not a matter of whether it's positive or negative, it's whether it's uh, properly, in a technical sense, properly priced. The fact is the government pays about, uh, the benchmark is what the government borrows money at, which is 6%. Uh, when we own companies, we expect to make a return of higher than 6% to reflect the fact that there's more risks in running a company than in lending to the government. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Uh, therefore, does he think an average 17.5% total return over the last five years is a reasonable return for this type of asset. The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, I'd make a couple of comments about that. The first is that um, those returns are based in some of those years on dubious valuation methods. Uh, secondly, that if the returns were actually 17 per cent on top of, uh, based on sound commercial valuations, those returns would actually look excessive. Uh, but given that the previous government allowed electricity prices to rise by over 70 per cent in eight years, yeah. that might explain why they made such big returns. Yeah, right. The Honourable Trevor Mallard. Pursuant to that uh, supplementary answer, is it therefore his view that the energy company assets are overvalued in the Crown accounts? The Honourable Bill English. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, uh, those... Uh, th those are matters of some um, contention. Uh, different people have different views about the valuations. Uh, what we do know is what we do know is that um, it's the government. The government is proposing a mixed ownership model, where a lot of those issues would be determined determined by the market rather than by politicians. Question number eleven.